as you can see, we're running on gas produced by my wood. The second I take it away, the gas stalls. Let's see if I can start it again. Pretty amazing stuff. <laughs> running an engine. Now, of course, we're running an experiment on the lawnmower. You obviously can't run a lawnmower on gas. It'd be kind of hard to move it around the, the old front yard. But imagine this was a generator producing electricity off of wood chips, off of this. Pretty exciting. Let's see if it starts up one more time. it does not get any better than that. So let me walk you through what we're doing here. I have a large 50, 30 gallon, whatever it is, container here. In this container, I fill it up full of wood, just any wood, scrap, scrap lumber, anything. Anything will burn, cardboard, whatever. And inside of here, resting, is a propane tank. The propane tank has a smaller propane tank attached to it that goes out to this um, uh, dryer vent. Think what it is? A dryer vent. On the top is a little screw. I have a hole that uh, lets you feed the wood in, and then it seals. Then it goes in here, gets cleaned a little bit through my little filter, which is just wood chips, but it filters it a little bit. And as you can see, it's leaking like crazy, but I'm still getting enough gas out. Then from there, it goes into my hose. Now, what we did last time. Last time I had a small thing hooked up to my propane tank and just this hose. And this hose filled up with creosote, or what they call tar on, when you're doing this. Filled it up and it just choked me out. So now I've got this big dryer vent, dryer vent hose that's um, coming out into my filter. And even with it leaking like crazy, and the fire is barely burning now, and even so, it's still producing the smoke that um, runs an engine. Let's see if it starts up again. That is completely, utterly amazing. Wood, just wood, when burnt hot enough, breaks down chemically and produces a flammable gas. Stinking amazing. I cannot tell you how happy I am that this works. Well, thanks again for watching and stay tuned. We'll start tweaking this a little bit. We'll actually get a generator out here and uh, you can watch our little homestead become a little more self-sufficient. And once I get this thing down, if I can get it a little bit more tweaked, this summer I'd like to teach some classes on this. So people that are tired of paying electricity bills that have a little bit of wood on their property can make their own electricity for free. Thanks again. Bye.